In London, shares of BP are now down more than 45% since the oil rig exploded. BP's executive team, including the chairman, Carl Henrik Svanberg, under pressure. Svanberg, of course, meeting with President Obama tomorrow. Peter Hitchens is with us now from Premier Gordon, UK. He is joining us live from London. Peter, you still have a buy recommendation on the BP stock. What if the dividend is cut or deferred? Then what do you do with your investment rating? I think at this stage, BP is probably looking at the idea of deferring its dividend uh, and potentially paying it once they've got less uncertainty out there on what the potential costs are going to be. And I think in, in that sort of scenario, we still maintain our buy recommendation. I don't think they'll go down the route of actually cutting the dividend or, or dramatically reducing it. And the idea that you wouldn't move from the buy is that you say, OK, if they simply defer it, that you think that this is a near term problem and that the dividend would be restored in the next quarter? I, I think so. Once we've got this well under control, they've managed to kill it successfully. They've got a better handle on the cleanup costs. I think they will then reintroduce the dividend. I think the market reaction at this stage has overdone compared to the potential liabilities, but there's a lot of uncertainty out there. Well, you mentioned this uncertainty, and of course, White House advisor David Axelrod suggesting that BP put aside $20 billion in an escrow account. A lot of claims are coming forward. What's the worst case scenario in your view? I think the $20 billion escrow account is probably the worst case scenario. I don't disagree with an escrow account, but I think $20 billion is probably a little excessive in terms of the amount of capital that BP wants to put in there. What's the right amount and the fair amount for people who do have legitimate claims? I think we're looking at claims in the region of about $10 billion and cleanup costs of about $4 billion uh, would be my guess at this stage. But this well could go on and on. That's the uncertainty out there. So, Peter, as you mentioned, a lot of uncertainty, certainly one reason we've seen the stock under pressure. There's talk of BP having to sell off its U.S. assets. On a scale of 1 to 10, how likely do you think that scenario is? If 10 is unlikely, I'd say 9. I think the U.S. is a very important part of BP's operations. It's around about 30 percent of its business. It is the largest oil market in the world, and BP wouldn't want to leave it unless they were forced to. Well, I was going to say maybe if it were forced to. I mean, some people say BP is never going to get another contract in the States again. Do you think that's an exaggeration? I, I think there's a lot of high uh, tension at the moment with the spill going on. I think once we sort it out, actually find out who's to blame for this, uh, you know, a lot you of the rhetoric should ease back. We don't know. We haven't had a full inquiry at this stage. Yes, BP is the operator. Uh, there's been a lot of criticism from the other oil companies, uh, but also some fault has to lie with the contractors. All right. And of course, we did hear Chevron saying yesterday, had it been in charge or had it been its rig, it would not have exploded. Peter, we thank you very much. Peter Hitchens joining us there from Panmure Gordon right there in London.